Hello everyone, this is Ravi Teja, Developer Advocate Engineer at Lama Index. In this video, we'll look into implementing a recent paper, uh, which is self-discover uh, large language models, self-composed reasoning structures as a Lama pack. So uh, let's start with understanding uh, the approach and what this paper is about. So basically, uh, self-discover is a general framework for LLMs, uh, or you can say prompt flow strategy to self-discover the reasoning structures to solve a complex problem that are in general difficult with usual prompting mechanism. So basically it uses uh, LLMs to select multiple reasoning modules from a, a large pool of reasoning modules, which you can check uh, towards the end of the paper uh, to compose a reasoning structure for the LLM to solve the task or the problem that uh, is given to it. So they showcased that the approach improves the GPT-4 and POM2 performance on challenging banks benchmarks by a margin of 32% compared to COT methods. So this is uh, designed from a thought that we as humans, if given a new problem, we think uh, about what skills we already have from prior experience and how can use those skills to solve the particular task or problem. So the, the approach is basically divided into two stages. Um, Stage one and stage two, basically the broader input is a task which we need to solve and the reasoning module. Um, basically, I said, as I said, uh, there are uh, some reasoning modules from which you select to solve the task, right? So these are the two inputs uh, for the whole process. And then, yeah, let's start with the stage one process, which has three modules to say, which are select, adapt and implement. So select chooses the uh, relevant reasoning modules from a large pool of reasoning modules. The paper used some 39 uh, reasoning modules. And then once you get a selected modules from the first part, uh, you send it to adapt. And based on this uh, module, certain modules, reasoning modules, we re rephrase those descriptions uh, to be task specific. And then finally, uh, those rephrased ones are sent to the third part, which is implement, uh, which creates an execution plan uh, from the adapted module descriptions, uh, which is something like a reasoning structure, similar to a JSON format. And then in the stage two, we basically give the task as well as this reasoning structure for the LLM to solve the task and uh, given an answer for the given task or the problem. So now uh, let's see how you can implement this in the Llama index as a Llama pack. We will actually use query pipeline to implement it. Um, is a probably a simple sign of prompts flow. So let's uh, uh, see how you can do that. Essentially, we have a task and uh, reasoning modules as inputs and give them to a select prompt. So basically in the select prompt, uh, it, we ask the LLM to select some of these reasoning modules to solve this task. And you basically get selected modules uh, as an output. And then we have an adapt prompt uh, for the given task and uh, for these uh, selected modules, you send uh, them to the LLM and then refresh the descriptions of these uh, modules for the specific task. And then you have an implement prompt uh, for which there is a task and send it to LLM and get a reasoning structure. And finally, along with the reasoning structure for the specific task, you basically uh, generate an answer. So these are the different parts of the whole process and which is part of stage one and stage two. So we'll see, so the, uh, we'll implement this whole flow using uh, query pipeline um, concept, which is available in the Llama index. Uh, take the input, send it to the prompt or get a prompt template and send it to LLM, get the modules and then have an adapt prompt, uh, send uh, send the previous step input uh, output as an input to the next one and continue with that process. So you can find the, uh, the Llama pack file here and then, uh, so it basically contains a self discover pack and uh, so that will have uh, certainly some three more uh, three functions, uh, get modules run and an init function where you can initialize the LLM and then uh, the default reasoning modules and the verbose. So this the run function has 
basically you need to configure the pipeline as i said there are uh, two stages and the first stage has three different uh, parts uh, which is select uh, adapt and implement and the second stage is uh, user reasoning structure and the, for the task to generate an answer so the pipeline has a pipe uh, all these parts to it so at the configuring the pipeline you basically set up the templates whatever we have discussed and then add these modules to it and set up the links and uh, have the pipeline ready and once the pipeline is ready you basically give the task and the reasoning modules as the input and basically uh, get the answer for the task so here if you can see um, these are the templates you have uh, select uh, prompt template which has which takes task as well as reasoning modules as input and then adapt prompt template which takes uh, takes uh, the um, task as well as uh, selected modules from the previous step and the third one is the implement prompt template uh, which takes uh, uh, the adapted modules from the previous step and the task um, and finally, this is given to the final one, the stage two one uh, takes the reasoning structure and then task to give if a final answer for the given task or the problem, right? So, and then, yeah, the core, the core has the, all these uh, modules here. So there is an input component, which takes the task and the uh, reasoning modules as a high level input. And you have LLMs for each of these parts, like select LLM, adapt LLM, implement LLM and reasoning LLM and all these uh, prompt templates, right? Right. Uh, so we have all these modules available now. So we just need to set up uh, the links between all these modules that I have shown in, earlier in the figure, right? So we start adding the links, like uh, what is the input uh, for the prompt template and uh, uh, which is task and then uh, the reasoning module as the input and you send the prompt template to the LLM, okay? And once you get whatever the output you get, you basically send the selected modules to the adapt, right? Adapt from template. So um, that's what you do here. And then you even have, you even send the task as well as the selected modules to the adapt from template and pass the adapt from template to the LLM again. And similar case with the implement from template. You have the adapted uh, uh, modules and uh, task to the implement prompt template, send it to LLM, get a reasoning structure and send the reasoning structure to the uh, the final reasoning prompt template to get an answer. So that's how you configure the entire pipeline and then you run it um, by uh, taking the task as well as uh, reasoning modules. So we have uh, a llama pack ready and then we'll use this llama pack to solve some of the tasks. So we'll go through this notebook on how you can use the llama pack to solve a task. So we need a uh, LLM uh, for the, for it. Uh, we'll use the default one, which is a GPT-4 uh, LLM for it. And then you can actually use the, uh, uh, the llama pack in two ways. Uh, one downloading the llama pack and then directly use the self disk or pack from the available llama packs. So I'll go with the second option for now. You can uh, even test the first one. So let's uh, uh, get the llama pack and pass the LLM. Uh, we can send the GPT-4 LLM or any other LLM you want to test it out. But if you don't send any LLM uh, as an input, um, it directly uses uh, the default GPT-3.5 Turbo as an LLM. And then uh, we have some tasks defined here. So one of the tasks is like uh, Michael has 15 oranges and he gives four oranges to his brother and trades three oranges for six apple with his neighbor. Later, he discovered two of them and then goes to market to buy 12 more oranges and five apples and decides to give two apples to his friend, finally. And we want to know how many oranges and uh, apples uh, does Michael have at the end during this process. So this is the task uh, question and then we'll uh, go through it. So you can see how each of these things are running. You have the input, which is task and reasoning modules and then send it to select prompt about the task and reasoning module to get a selected uh, modules and then use that up prompt template which takes the task as and the selected modules as input and send it to the LLM to get the 
uh, refreshing versions and then the impl implement prompt template as well uh, and finally get an answer so so basically it has it the answer says like michael initially has 15 oranges and zero apples and then after giving 400 oranges to his brother he, uh, it has he has uh, 11 oranges left and then he basically trades some apples and get uh, for oranges and so each step uh, you basically do some operation and get a final answer that uh, he has 18 oranges and nine apples so that's how uh, it break down the whole problem into different steps and uh, did some reasoning and got a final answer in the same way there is another uh, task here uh, where tom buy some ingredients for a dinner and um, we want the estimate of uh, the cost basically the cost for purchasing these items and so basically he pays with a 50 dollar bill and what is the chain one needs to receive for purchasing these items so in the similar way um, the task reasoning modules and all these stages it goes through all these stages and finally gets an answer. Uh, the actually the time taken for solve to solve the task depends on uh, how complex the problem is because um, the number of selected modules might be more based on the task. So that's how you can see now this task is taking more time than the previous one. Um, the previous one hardly took twenty seven seconds, and this took uh, more time. Right. And uh, so basically, yeah, it identified the problem and gathered the information, broke down the problem and did some thinking and solved the problem and uh, reviewed the solution and got the changes like $31.5. So that's how you can use uh, self-discover to solve a complex problem. Uh, please explore this llama pack and um, see how you can use in your workflow. Uh, see you in the next video with a new Lama pack or any other new technique available. Thank you.